the problem with feedback is it's very hard to give because we have a lot of barriers to doing so. So some of the barriers to giving feedback include, one is we worry about the reaction of the feedback receiver. Will the person be defensive? Um, will they get angry at me? You know, I want to be the good guy. I don't want to be seen as, as giving critical feedback. Um, will they even take it in at all? I think there's a lot of skepticism around people's being able, people being able to change. And one thing that's been helpful for me to learn from my sister and brother-in-law who are clinical psychologists is you can't change character, but you can change behavior. So we're not asking people to change who they are. What we're, we're asking them to do is to change what they're doing, specific behaviors. So that's how to address that barrier. Um, the barrier of like, how's someone going to react? Uh, I think that one is, it's always hard because you don't know. Um, but what I would say to, to people who, are, uh, who let that get in the way of giving feedback is that you can give it in a way that is most likely going to lead the person to be willing to listen to it and make changes based on, on the feedback. But you can never guarantee. So you need to understand how they react is really how they react and it's not on you. Um, another big barrier, I think, is the perception of time commitment. And yes, it, it, it's, it's true, it takes some time. Uh, but my response to that is, if you care about the working relationship um, and or and or what the person is, is learning in their trajectory, and you fail to give them feedback, you've deprived them of a chance to get better and to learn and to grow. And also, if you wait and the behavior continues, it's gonna take you much longer or somebody else much longer to give the feedback. So it's better to be in a habit of giving both positive and critical feedback more routinely. And that's very countercultural, I think, for us, even in academic medicine, um, where you know feedback should be routine. I think we're, we just don't have a culture in, in our society of being clear um, and, and transparent about what our, our take is on something that's happened. That culture, we can change by changing the frequency and the way we deliver feedback.